Hey you guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Reflectively Made with Dwaynita. I am Dwaynita and today is Winning Wednesday. So I believe no matter what your situation is, no matter what you're going through, if you are alive and breathing today and there's opportunities around you that will improve your situation, you're actually in a winning position. So sometimes we got to change our perspective. But you guys are actually tuning into a brand new series that I like to call 10 Ways to Believe in Yourself, where I'm going to be sharing 10 ways that we all can believe in ourselves just a little bit more so we can keep our momentum going, so we can keep working on ourselves on a daily basis so that we can reach that elevated versions of ourselves. So if you have ever heard of statements such as believe in yourself or believe you can, or if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will, then you're actually in the right place because I'm going to share with you how you can believe in yourself a little bit more right because those statements are very encouraging they're very motivating and inspiring but if you don't know how to do something then what is the likelihood that you're actually going to execute right and and act accordingly so that's where i come into play okay and i'm actually talking to myself too because i'm learning this information too so today i'm going to be sharing the number seventh way that we can um believe in ourselves more and here we go so the number seventh way is to get physical and feel good. So have you guys ever heard of a statement um, when people say, when you look good, you feel good? Well, the same, the, the same is true when you flip that statement around. When you feel good, you look good. And how do you start to feel good about yourself? Well, that also, that includes doing some exercise and that could include changing your diet, which you're intaking, right? So by getting physical, um, by doing physical exercise such as cardio, strength training, or even taking a brisk walk and coupling that with um, making healthier food choices, you actually increase your energy levels, right? You reduce your calorie levels, and which leads to weight loss. You also gain clarity. You get clear skin. You build up strength. You lower your cholesterol and you lower your high blood pressure, you reduce stress levels, and the list can go on and on. See all those good, good benefits when it comes to a physical exercise and making healthier food choices? Also, when you increase your energy levels, you're actually um, increasing your ox oxygen capacity as well to help you breathe better, right? To help with your breathing. So how is that connected to increasing your belief? Well, when you start to feel good about yourself, you're actually sending signals to your brain, like feel good signals to your brain, and it actually increases your level of hope, which actually increases your level of self-belief, right? And I was reading in an article on livingstrong.com. I will link that article. I will put the link to that article in the description of the video. But um, the article suggests that when we have a success of creating an actual exercise plan and a, and a workout regimen, right, and we stick to that plan, that actually allows us to enjoy a sense of achievement, which correlates to an increase in your self-belief. See how it all works out together, okay? So the article also suggested that <clears throat> if we get in a minimum of 30 minutes of daily, daily moderate aero, aerobic, or not aerobic, I'm sorry, aerobic exercise daily, that's enough to release the beta endorphins that increase feelings of well-being, and it also lowers the levels of cortisol, which is a hormone associated with stress and anxiety, okay? So yeah, that's a good article. Check it out for yourself whenever you get a chance, but once we start to feel good, right, when we use feeling good as a strategy, it actually empowers us to believe in ourselves more because it increases our self-esteem. So everything is interconnected. Everything we do is connected to how we're going to feel. All right. So get to it. I have to be consistent myself with creating an exercise regimen. I mean, if that means I got to wake up earlier, then maybe that's something I'm going to look into. Lately, I've been exercising late at night, but I'm going to try to see how it works, if it works better for me if I wake up earlier, okay? And then I also have to make better food choices as well. So 
you know, I hope there's someone out there that's feeling my pain so I can get this game. We're all in this together. But now that's it for today. Thank you kindly for watching. Thank you for kindly, uh, thank you kindly for tuning in. Just make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Reflectively Made with Dwaynita, so you can be notified when I release a new video related to this series, 10 Ways to Believe in Yourself. And share this video with anyone that needs a little boost of motivation, a boost of encouragement, um, and just needs to feel good overall okay sharing is caring and as always remember that you all are reflectively made majorly anointed and destined for elevation see you in the next video